Hey everybody, Anthony here, Bibles and Barbells Ministry. It is Saturday, August 3rd, 2024, and uh, Shabbat Shalom to everyone. I hope uh, everyone's having a restful uh, Sabbath. Uh, today's, um, uh, by the way, it's 11, just about 12 p.m. here, East Coast time here in uh, South Carolina. Um, today's Bible verse that I want to uh, talk about briefly is from the book of Revelation. Um, and if you go to the book of Revelation, uh, chapter 12, verse 9 is the verse I'm going to talk about. But I would like for you, after this is done today, go back and read the entire verse to get a better context. But basically, um, what I want to talk about today is focused on verse 9. And then uh, we'll talk about verse 17 briefly from chapter 12. So what I'll do is... I'll read that verse, um, verse 9. We'll talk about, uh, there's actually three words that are mentioned in that verse that I want to look at the, you know, the Greek meanings of those words. Talk about it briefly because I think that uh, we are living in times where we don't know with each passing day how it seems like one day is more evil than the next or more turmoil in the world is going on. Not just here in America, but worldwide. We're seeing a worldwide change. We're seeing now um, the possibilities of, you know, like EMPs bringing down entire systems like banking, electric grid, um, you know, your computer, your cell phone. We saw like a, a brief test, if you will, of that by, with the crowd strike a few days back. Um, we're seeing um, the stock market being really unstable. One day it's, you know, wonderful. The next day, like Friday was, this past Friday, um, you know, $3 trillion in losses. So we don't know from each day, each passing day, it's like one thing after the other. Turbulent weather, terrible storms, heat, cold, uh, you name it, everything is seems like it's just magnified. Um, and then the, the um, you know, churches around the country and around the world just turning their backs on the Most High and showing their true colors, really, that they were never really an assembly, His assembly, if you will. It may have been an assembly, but it wasn't his assembly. And so I recommend for people to uh, know the word, be in the word, and do the word, just like it says, very simple instructions. Be in the word, know the word, do the word. Be a men and women of action. Follow and carry out the commands. Humble yourselves. Change from uh, old ways to the biblical the new way because after all it does say you are a new creation in Messiah when you profess that you've trusted and believed in him just like the video I did a few days back talking about trust and belief if you have truly trusted in him and believe in him you will follow him like it is written not like what churches and organizations and catechisms and all kinds of other things that came afterwards changed, syncretized with beliefs that are and writings that are not of him and mixed into the church. And now you have today people, many people that are ripe for the pickings. And that's what we're going to talk about in verse 9 of Revelation chapter 12. So let me read that verse and then we'll look at the three words that I want to look at. And then I'll have some closing remarks. <clears throat> and the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. And so in looking closer at this, let me get my notes here. Um, we see three key words here. Um, the first is deceives, deceive. The word from Strong's um, 
concordance is G4105. Uh, planajo, planajo, if you look it up yourself, you'll see uh, you could hear the, pronunci the correct pronunciation. Of course, I'm not perfect always in the pronunciations. To cause, to stray. This is deceive. To cause, to stray. Now think about the definition that I'm reading and think about yourself or maybe people you know today or just what you observe of people in the world that are embracing this world system that's coming. That's antagonistic to Messiah's kingdom. To cause to stray, to lead astray, to lead aside from the right way, to lead away from the truth, okay? Is that being done today? Uh, the world system pushing people away from knowing the truth, which is scripture, and to lead off the path of virtue or to go astray in sin. So you see that Yahusha, Jesus himself mentions this broad road that leads to, you know, destruction. That's people that continue down the road of sin, knowing that it's wrong, but continue or refuse to repent, and they go down this broad road. They're deceived by ultimately the dragon, like it says in the verse here, and the world system that he is trying to, or placing together to, for him to try to duplicate Yahuwah's kingdom and system. So that word deceive. The next word, whole, where it says the whole world. Let's look at that word whole. It's Strong's G, 3650, halos. Halos is how it's said in the Greek. And whole means all, whole or completely. So it says, uh, that serpent of old, the devil and Satan, who deceives the whole. So he leads astray the whole, all, whole or complete. And then the next word, world, Strong's G, 3625, oikumene, oikumene, okay? The world is, in this, used in this context, is the inhabited earth. So think of the earth that we live on, the inhabited earth. So that's people of all nations, language, kindreds, tongues, colors of skin, not races, there's one race, humans. People groups, I would say, is more accurate when you say, you know, Anthony's white, so-and-so's black, so-and-so's brown, uh, yellow. They're not another race of people, like an alien race. They're human, but different people groups, different ethnic groups, people groups, okay? We look different, but we're the same race. Understand that. We're not, the, the black race is not a different race from the white race. <laughs> You're not a different you know, creation. We're the same creation. We're in heaven. There's going to be every color imaginable from every tribe, nation, kindred, language, tongue, etc., like it says, that accepted the way, Messiah, in heaven. We'll all be together, one assembly, the bride. That's how you need to reorient your thinking and stop this racist and falling into this trap that the that the world system wants us to be in infighting and fighting with one another and while they mold and shape their system under the headship of the dragon so that's what i wanted to convey so this word world is the inhabited earth it also said the roman empire and all subjects of the empire so think of us and uh, in the inhabitants of the earth so think of the coming world, um, one world government as like a, the Roman Empire revived and all the inhabitants of that empire, which says in this scripture, the whole world is deceived. So to me, and what we just read and looked at, that's a very big number. That's all, you know, that's almost everyone on the planet deceived. Think about that. It doesn't say everyone on the planet believes in Jesus. 
Many might believe about him, but they're not followers of his. There's a remnant it talks about, and that's what I wanted to look at in verse 17 before, uh, before I close here. In verse 17, which is the last verse of chapter 12, it says, And the dragon, who is Satan, um, was wroth, you know, exceedingly angry or uh, bent on destruction with the woman and went to make war with the remnant of her seed. So the remnant that that verse is talking about is what I just mentioned. The remnant, the the believers at this time, if, they're, if we're alive at this specific time uh, during this tribulation period, if you and I are alive during that time, we will be uh, hunted down with a remnant of the seed, where the seed, the remnant of the seed, the remnant that's alive at that time, um, which keep the commandments, what's sin? Breaking the law. What's the commandments? The law. They, everything goes hand in hand. There's a kingdom of God, Yahuwah, his son did what the father sent him to do. The rules, the commission, the kingdom, it's the same rules. There's no more animal sacrifice. He died for that. That has been done, ar done away with because we have the blood of Messiah that continues to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. But his work was not finished or the law was not nailed to the cross and his work was not finished at the cross because we still got a whole bunch of stuff he's going to do uh, before he comes back to judge the quick and the dead. <laughs> so his work is not done. Okay, he ascended after re re death, resurrection, ascension. He comes back at the end to destroy and his wrath on the unbelieving world, the Antichrist, Satan, the false prophet, and all unbelievers, those who took the mark. But to the remnant that follow his commands, which is right here, of God and have the testimony of Jesus Christ, Yahuwah HaMashiach. So this remnant does not get deceived. It's not part of the world, although we live in the world. It says in Scripture, we are not of the world. We live in the world. We function in this system, in this body, in this tent that it's, a, it's called. But we are separated. We are special. We are, uh, if you're... Um, Hebrew roots and you are Israel you are from the bloodline me and as a Gentile and grafted in but we are one family still it's not two different the church and Israel it's one family one ecclesia one assembly one people one bride you get married to one bride we are the bride made up of what I talked about earlier so that's how you have to think about this. But I want you to think about and to feel and to act today on the section that I read in 12.9. Are you one of the ones who is being deceived, who was deceived? All of us were deceived at one time. And if you are still being deceived and you feel as if, oh, maybe I, I know about Jesus, I understand he died, and why he died, I guess. But I haven't really been born again, or I don't. Take some time today, sit down, and ask him. Like I said in my last video, sit down, pray. You don't have to have a fancy word. You don't have to have this language of you know that you hear people use, fancy language. It's like... A child talking to their father. Is the father going to get mad at the child, spank the child, yell at the child for asking him for a glass of water? Or asking him, Dad, um, can you show me how to do that? I don't know how to get across the street without getting hit by a car. Can you show me how to do that? What father is going to say, son, daughter, uh, no, cross the street and get hit by the car? No, they're going to gently take them by the hand and show them you look both ways you do this you follow the sign the law and then you cross over in safety to get to the other side well that's what you're doing when you uh, profess 
trust and belief in Messiah as your Savior, you're trusting him to save you and to bring you into his kingdom and to make you a remnant, one of the remnant, whether you're alive or you die prior to the tribulation, you're still a remnant. You're still included in the marriage supper of the Lamb. But now you're applying it. You're not just head knowledge of it. You're applying it and you're saying, show me, Dad, Yahuwah, I believe that you sent your son, Yahushua HaMashiach, Jesus, to die for my sin. And he rose again, and he is at, seated at the right hand of the Father, and he's coming back to judge the living and the dead. And I want to be part of that family. And I am willing to give up worldly passions, the wrong uh, following false traditions and commandments, and I am committed to following you in truth and love. So show me how to do that, Father, and he will show you. And then you will be born again on the path to, on a path, which is your sanctification, on that path of getting closer to him with each day, because you're a new creation. And you live for him instead of for the world. So therefore, you are not deceived. You will not be part of the whole earth, the whole inhabitants of the earth, or that revived Roman Empire that's coming. Even though you may live in the empire, you're not part of the empire because you will be hunted down because of your beliefs. And how will they know what you believe in? Because you will be following his commandments, which are his ways. His laws, His Torah. It's very simple. Pastors make it difficult. Confuse people. It's very simple. You prove yourself by who you follow. And you follow His commands. And you incorporate them into your life. And you get rid of the dross, the stuff that doesn't matter, the junk Whatever it is, I don't have to go into detail, you know what it is, and you'll know what it is because he's going to be guiding you through his spirit that lives in you, his Ruach, that lives in you and sets you apart from this Roman Empire that's coming. Because, my friends, today, tomorrow is not promised, number one, but number two, tomorrow could be World War Three, an EMP attack famine, pestilence, a disease, a pandemic, war, everything combined. Our, our world can change like that and we can find ourselves in a totalitarian system that clamps down on following the word and those that want to follow truth. It's not, it's, the truth is an enemy to them. It helps destroy their system and they want those subjects of their system not to be infected with the truth because when you're infected with the truth you're not part of their system and you question it you question those that want to keep you healthy and yet do the opposite um, do the opposite I want to keep you healthy but I don't need a lot of people take this medicine and if you don't I'm going to force it on you totalitarian, the beast system. You're breathing too much, you're ruining the atmosphere. Come into our system that embraces the world and, and nature, and, and nature is God, and God's in everything, and all paths lead to God. One world religion. You're not going to be part of that. You're not going to be deceived, because that's what's coming, and that's what's here. Deception. Deception of the inhabitants of this earth the whole earth and most people will be deceived because they do not know the truth they know some they're lukewarm which is like not knowing anything it's worse than being cold that's my video today this sabbath I hope it was a blessing to you and I hope that you will look into these verses and look deep down inside yourself this morning.
or this afternoon or this weekend and decide who it is you are following. If it is the dragon, we used to have this ride in our um, amusement park in New York where I live, Rye Playland. It was called the Dragon Coaster. I didn't like going. I went on it. I didn't like going on it. It got me too scared. And You don't want to be on the Dragon's Coaster. You don't want to be on that. You want to be protected by Messiah and under his wing. The wings of righteousness. Justice, mercy, grace. That's where you want to be in a world that's following the dragon. Anthony, signing off. Shalom, everyone.